Hey everybody, I'm John Elliott Churchville and today's Hump Day Power Thought is set a specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound financial goal. This process begins the moment you set a specific dollar amount that you intend to earn. Your choice of a very specific amount of money that you will earn automatically makes your goal measurable. You'll know exactly when you reach your goal. There will be no confusion because you've set your target and will know the moment when you hit it. And then the next issue to decide is whether what you have set as a financial goal is achievable. Now, this is the tricky part. If you lack self-confidence or doubt your own abilities, then you will not achieve your goal because you have already determined in your own mind that you can't achieve it. So the issue of achievability is an internal problem for you, not an external one that can be imposed on you by others' beliefs or doubts about you. There were lots of people who once thought that having a small portable computer device that could fit in your pocket and be operated without wires or cords was not an achievable goal. Hey, they were all wrong. Your iPhone or smartphone proves that. The point is that what is achievable for you is what you believe you can achieve. You are the only one who can decide what's achievable for you. Deciding whether the financial goal you set is realistic has more to do with timing than with possibility. If you went out in a field and planted wheat today and then went out to that same field tomorrow and tried to harvest wheat, there'd be no wheat to harvest because your expectation was not realistic. Why wasn't it realistic? It wasn't realistic because it ignored the law of the farmer, which says that what you plant today will not grow overnight and be ready to harvest tomorrow. There will always be a time lag between the time you plant something and the time that what you planted is ready to be harvested. Finally, when you set your definite and very specific financial goal, you must set a definite and specific time-bound date by which you intend to reach that goal. Now, this is important because it allows you time to adjust your plan for reaching your financial goal if you've either overestimated or underestimated the time-bound date it will take to reach your goal. There's a lesson in all of this that relates to your decision to start your own business in 2020. You must take the time to plant before you harvest what you planted. Starting a business requires a period of planting, learning, building relationships with, and serving people before a financial harvest is possible. You must adhere to the laws of nature and science that teach you that belief in yourself, thorough knowledge of your business, and taking the time to develop relationships of trust with people will ultimately bring in the tremendous financial harvest that you want. I'm John Elliott Churchville, certified speaker, teacher, trainer, DISC behavioral analysis consultant, and coach with the John Maxwell team. 